Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having a good day today. We're going to be in Life of Fred, Butterflies. If you have a Butterflies book, go ahead and pull your book out now. Remember, you can press pause at any time during this video. We're going to be in chapter seven on page 49. And the title is, For Later. Fred tried to find four stars that would make a square. He couldn't. Sometimes he could find three stars that might work, but there was no fourth star. Triangles are easy, squares are hard. Almost any three stars could make a triangle. Almost no four stars would make a square. At this point, Betty still hadn't asked about this calculus problem. Like the burger crumb in Fred's pocket, it would be for later. Unlike the burger crumb in Fred's pocket, Betty would ask Fred about this in class tomorrow. She really meant for later. When Fred put a piece of food in his pocket, his for later became for never. When his pockets became full of food, he would empty his pockets into a drawer in his desk. Then the ants would find it. Instead of for later, an ant would say for now. Ants never say for later. They do not put off things for tomorrow that they could do today. It was a Monday evening on the Kittens University campus in Kansas. In five minutes, it would be 6 p.m. It was 5.55 p.m. They stopped at the campus bulletin board and read the sign. Coming events at Kittens. Sunday, 6 p.m. Hot dog eating contest. Monday, 6 p.m. Professor Eldwood book signing at the library. It's his newest book. Since it was Monday, they had missed the hot dog eating contest, which was on Sunday. But they were not too late to go to the book signing. In five minutes, they walked to Kitten's library. It was 6 p.m. There's Alexander, Betty exclaimed. They got together and Betty told Alexander about the caterpillars in Fred's office. Eggs on Kingy's hat and about the song that Fred had sung to Kingy to help him get to sleep. She didn't mention the paper straw that Fred had made. Oh, she said, I've got to show you something outside. She turned to Fred and said, we'll be back in a second. That was fine with Fred. He had already seen Orion the hunter. He knew that she was going to show him Alexander's triangle which went from the left star in Orion's belt to the two legs of Orion. Fred followed the signs in the library to the room where Professor Eldwood was doing the book signing. Book signings are not just watching an author autograph his books. That would be boring. Mainly, it is a chance to talk with an author about his work. You can also buy his book and have him sign it. Fred walked into the room where the book signing was happening. There was a big sign on the wall. Professor Eldwood's newest book, The Names for Toenail in 300 Languages. Fred wondered how many people would like to buy that book. It didn't seem like a very popular title. Fred was the only person in the room. Okay, everyone, that's it for today. Are you ready for your turn to play? Remember, you can press pause at any time. Go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Let's begin. Number one, this is five minutes to six o'clock. Draw a clock that would show five minutes to three o'clock. Number two, when Betty met Alexander, she told him about the caterpillars in Fred's office, about the eggs on Kingy's hat, and about the song that Fred had sung to Kingy. 
She didn't mention the paper straw that Fred had made. Make a guess why she didn't mention the straw. Okay, here are your answers. Go ahead and check your work. And are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you here tomorrow for chapter eight. Bye.